Hello everyone. Welcome to my stream. So uh, in this stream we will make hide and seek game. Yesterday we complete the game but uh, not completely just we should make some few things for our game. But I'm waiting for you to join my stream and uh, while I'm, I'm waiting I make my thumbnail with blunder. Let me show you the game uh, at Roblox Studio. So we just yesterday made a script for a um, hide and seek game. We will continue today. Just first, I want to export this image. All right, guys, so uh, let me add this image to my thumbnail. Okay, I forgot to make transparency. Let me do it. Okay, transparent background and let's render image. Option S, let's yes, do same image. And let's move to Canva. All right, and import the image. Okay, and uh, we can add some shadow. You make full screen. So, um, okay, and there is shadow. Well, let's say white. I don't know, white or black here is good, but Okay, white looks better Let's make this bigger
I try my best to make thumbnail and let's see here um, Uh, hello, LEJ3. Welcome back. Hello, hello, welcome. Thanks for yesterday. You helped me a lot. For adding a uh, shadow for my text. Today I will continue. And um, just before this, I just want to finish this thumbnail. I make this with Canva. So, yeah. Okay, this one is better. And let's make this white. Okay, uh, actually, no need this one. Just we can add a simple text to here, maybe. Let's say hide and seek. Okay, hide and seek. So we can change this symbol of hot end. Let's move this here. Uh, let's make bigger. Also white color. And the phone. Something like. Okay, this one, I don't know if it's good or not. Okay, never mind. I will just make this, where is it? I will some, add uh, some effects for background. Oh, thank you. Uh, am I good at making? I don't know. Thank you. If you think like this. Okay, this is good. So let's import. I mean, sorry, export. And I will put this on YouTube thumbnail. So yeah. And let's continue to coding. Let me just open chats on my phone and... So here, let's open live. Okay, save, and now let's continue. 
for coding so let's close also blender all right so what we did yesterday yesterday we made our text and countdown for our hiders and seekers so today we will finish this game I will try my best to finish this game so uh, let me just open my original code and you guys just can access these codes on my github account here the game um, is completely codes here and I put it the link on the comments let me just pin on the message so you can just get this code and you can just easy follow me on codes on the stream so now uh, let's open script and I will drag this screen to my other screen to show you the Roblox Studio so uh, yesterday we done of making the yeah, account down to hide. All right, so, and we make seeker and card false to can't move. So now let's say for I part in pairs and let me zoom in, I guess will be better for you. Close this, okay. So seeker dot uh, character character dot get children not dot actually this one and oh sorry wait and if part is a mesh part sorry this should be is a sheet a uh, mesh part how to do this mesh part or part is is a base part then part touched so that mean if seeker touched to mesh part or base part this mean if user i mean if seeker touched on any any of the players because the um players has mesh part and base part so both of them if seeker touched them so uh okay i guess i missed something here no just say function so hit and if hit if hit like this um that parent find first child humanoid then local player local player equal to players get player from from character and hit dot parent So here we will say uh, again if player and not player find first child is seeker. Dot value. Then, so that's mean. Let me explain for you. If seeker hit a par a part, which is uh, has find first child humanoid, if a humanoid, 
let's mean if a character normal player so then do this and uh, so let's move all like who touched like a seeker touched any player move him to spawn location again so for this let's say hit dot parent set primary part c frame set primary why it's not saying this let me check set primary part c frame and uh, workspace dot spawn location dot c frame c frame like this okay so this will move player after seeker touched to spawn location and let's make the player so actually actually we can just make this let me because um uh, says hello can i see the game yeah of course uh let me show you just uh i will put the game uh published version on the comments let me just open my Google Chrome also you can just go to my profile and um, go to my group where is it here this is my group go there and just scroll down you will find hide and seek game beta version so visit there and this is the game and i will also put this link in the description i mean in the chat game link you can play these but at least you should have more than two player so um if not work that was because of this so let's continue okay we moved player to c frame spawn location so also we can make another spawn location okay and um, let's move this to top here okay and let's scale this a bit You can think about this like a lobby okay so think about this like a lobby and uh, also you can find some lobby on the no need for now just let's leave like this later we will add our map for what looks better but now let's just try for test and uh, let's make this uncurred okay All right, so um, let's just delete this image and let's say spawn or let's say lobby location, okay? And actually just delete this and add new part. and say lobby and move this to top like this and here make it anchored and uh, also duplicate this and make this uh, normal part and make a group so now this copy is for this like the user can't go inside game again till game will loop 
and just make this transparency one and later we will do this now let's just make it better also duplicate this and rotate it 90 degree let me and this and okay and duplicate it again okay so now let's just make this transparency one as you can see these actions on game but can go there okay and uh, also guys i said i will add map later but now just find a simple map on toolbox for now and uh later we can add our own map so which map will be good for this let me check this one what is that okay so this is really interesting for okay this is backgrounds okay i don't know for hide and seek this is good or not okay we can we can use it why not okay never mind i will not use this oh i guess i delete just my spawn location also let me add it sure so uh No problem, let's make our map. <laughs> I will add a um, part and simple map just looks like hide and seek. okay so also uh let's move all to top and let's duplicate one of them so move okay not good map i know but just for test i make this one so let's move this here okay so game will start here and the seeker if touched any person will move to here to lobby okay so don't worry about the map like this is just for test we will not use this map of course so um okay now what we do here so if a seeker touched person so move to lobby and uh, workspace dot let's say change model to lobby model and here say workspace dot lobby model and uh, 
user will move to lobby model. Okay, so what next? Actually, we have, uh, let's look at, okay. We will say layer dot character, not changed, character dot humanoid root part part dot anchored no 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 need this no need this sorry we don't need to make player anchored okay so after this after this so for uh i and uh, v in pairs game players okay why it's adding to and let's clear all table uh, of game players. So, and say if v equal equal to player, and then I will remove game players. Game players, okay? And make it i. So, uh, actually now what we have to do and let's give a time for game time like after countdown finished and the seeker will uncurred false can move so after that uh, we should have a time for game okay and 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 let me So here, let's make a, a local variable first. So under this, say local game time, like this, equal to, let's say, 20 seconds for now. And scroll down again. And here, say, for i, for i, equal to game time. And countdown minus one, do, and wait for one second to count down. And say if game players so this will make if game players more than one, that means if just uh like if seeker just here everyone found so just return the game and let's say replicated storage so before this before this let's also status display the text of the game time value how much time they have to find seeker how much time seeker has to find all hiders so say the game is ending ending uh in space dot dot i dot dot it should be small i let me just say i dot dot and move this here and uh, space seconds seconds like this so what else let's just add a new text to our game move this here so go to screen gui and here let's add a new text we have status and seeker so a uh, new text will be uh, reward text reward text for showing who won the game okay if seeker won the game so that will 
display secret world game and the will will uh, display his name also i guess so let's uh actually let's remove this copy your status shadow and do copy paste sorry just to duplicate better duplicate and here say reward underscore status uh sorry a reward shadow and um, make this reward text and let's update the local script we should call first local player equal to game players dot local player players dot local player and local so and and we should fire replicated storage remote event so what we need to add here actually a text for an uh, event for reward text so add um remote event and say show reward text like this all right and call your replicated storage on your code so say here replicated storage equal to sorry game get service uh the one bestie uh hi hello welcome to my stream and uh get service what was that replicated storage so When the, what next we need say replicated storage the remote and what was that show show reward text and let's say on client event the connect function uh, let's display a text so inside this function let me check here okay and say so if secret won the game so say if text equal equal to seeker then display uh, text say script dot parent the text Okay, so we should use same method as we did on here. What we said, copy this. Hmm, okay. okay yesterday, we just forgot add to, let me also add this text dot seeker text dot text equal to this because of shadow we should call two times okay so also for here same thing uh where we should call here text dot seeker text dot text seeker you are the seeker the name and is the seeker okay cool so copy this and go to your local script so delete this and say text dot text equal to 
what was the text? So let's say the seeker has won the game. And duplicate for shadow and the uh, reward text dot uh, text. And we have else. So say else if then no not then sorry else if text equal equal sorry it should be small text equal to what hiders then um text dot uh, text equal to what the seeker sorry the hiders hiders won the game all right and make script dot and you can just say text like this text dot visible equal to true because we should make our text hides this one so make it uh, visible false cool so what next and wait for a second one and a half seconds so loop a for loop for animation and say what comma 20 do. Guys, I, I also wait for your questions. If you have any question, just uh, leave a comment on the live stream comments. So for sure, I will try to answer you. That's why I don't stop because you guys not asking anything. So that's why. Please ask questions, anything you want to know. No matter about hide and seek, maybe you want to know something about anything in Roblox Studio or Blender, just let me know. So I'm here. Text stroke transparency and make it visible false. False. Oh, okay. We should false also the shadow. What was that? Uh, reward text dot visible true. And also text reward text dot visible false. Sure. And, and uh, copy these codes and make it zero zero and make it equal like this so now i guess finished so guys i remember now yesterday also we we forgot let me check Okay. Here, yes. Hiders won the game. Okay, I will try to check all. So this, whenever I call text, I should call both of shadow and text so here is good and uh, here is also good okay and let's move to status shadow and uh, for status what i did here text status value and uh, for shadow all right also it's good so secret text shadow also here
Okay, this one. Visible. True. Visible equal to false. So yeah, shadow is good, but you should work more. So go to scripts again. So what I guess finished, let me just check quickly what we need to add more. So, uh, okay, we have game time. If game players, okay, we have here. So let's continue. So if game players uh, less than, I mean, um, more than one, sorry, less than one. So it's a replicated storage, replicated storage, but remotes, show your text and fire all clients the text will be seeker so guys make sure you have same text as in you provide where is that um reward yeah this one make sure it should be same because if not will not display these texts it's also copy for hiders if we need we will paste it so uh, let's give points to Seeker because Seeker won the game. So say Seeker that leader stats, leader, what is that? Leader stats wins value, value equal to Seeker that leader stats. Uh, wins dot value plus one seeker won the game and plus one to his uh, information leader star wins value so again let me just copy this code no need to write again so just change wins to points also let's give some points to him and write points value also make points at the uh, wins so if you remember guys yesterday we add points with a local variable here so we said points to give seeker so copy this local variable name scroll down and where is that here plus points to give seeker all right and uh when seeker won the game so let's set up the game again and loop the game so set up the game and game loop here also and add a return okay so uh what else what else we also have here if the um, something went wrong here. Let me just check what is that. All right, so yesterday we added points for hiders, but we didn't call replicated storage to hire the text or show reward text for hiders so here <coughs> say remotes <coughs> show reward text again fire all clients what else uh, let me do this and if the text is hiders so that means if the seeker won, we already returned game. The code will not continue to here. 
But if not, that means the hydrus will wound again. So that's clear. And um, okay, and also move this here. So also look the game again. Game look. All right, guys. So we done. We completely finished all codes. So now uh, let's test the game. Let's run with two player and let's see what will be happening i hope will work everything correctly all right so let's wait for server to run Okay, so we have two player, and we are on the spawn location. Okay, this is the hider, and let me show you the other player. I can't move till we second finished. Okay, now I can move. So let's say I found player two. Okay. Uh, Something here is wrong. Let me see what is that. It says, hmm. oh, yes, this one. Yeah, so let's run again and uh, close this all. Script, where was that? Here. Let me just check for all. Do we have that? No, we don't. Okay, so. Okay, cool. So we found the error. And uh, let's run again. Mm, two player, yes. So game completely finished. And I hope we'll work everything. So don't worry about the map. When the game all works for sure i will update the map later so don't worry about this all right again we have countdown let me move here Okay, I am the seeker, so let me, and this is the hider, let me go somewhere, okay, and let's quickly find the hider, so, again we have some problem, what is that, let me check, uh, it says C frame is not a valve of member, lobby lo lo model. Oh, guys, yeah, it's correct. How I missed this. So, lobby model. Uh, it's just a model name. So, where is that? We, sh we should call lobby. I guess would not save this code. So, let's run again. I missed a lot of things. So, sorry for that. Lobby model dot lobby of course okay let's run again so this time if it's work should move hiders to this lobby so I have to game will do this okay we are two player again let's see who will be seeker 
Okay, I am the seeker and this guy is the hider. Let me hide this. Let's say he just hide here. And one zero. Okay, let's move. Okay. Great. But because we are two <laughs> we didn't see his there. Okay. But it works like And we have an error it says <clears throat> local scroll attempt to kneel with the string. Okay, I'm again a s okay, cool. Uh okay, okay. I saw him there, but let me try again. Okay, order is seeker, so Okay, this player is Seeker, so let's see. Okay, look at the lobby. I went, yeah. Actually, why it's just, is that part not going to collide? Yeah, it works, but I guess the part is not going to collide, so let's just. Mm, okay. All right, guys, so I have an idea. We can do two different things. First, I guess because because uh, when I say go to exact same frame of this and the player is just getting this here, like not on the top of this part, under this part. So, so we can do something. We can on script change. Let me close this say um c frame exact c frame but uh make it a little bit higher and also if you want to find easy way just um i can select this let me see which uh okay say so lobby model and uh move to crown like this Okay. Okay, let's try again. <clears throat> and I saw a problem when countdown finished. Uh the text is waiting more. I don't know why it's happening, so let's go to up and um, actually here seeker text okay, the problem is here, look we forgot to do same things for seeker text, so this is problem
Okay, secret text. Okay, now, now it should looks better. Yeah, I forgot also for here. This shadow is really good, but really hard to control. So, um, copy this and say X transparency. No, uh, text transparency was equal to 0 0.05. Also, same thing for text stroke transparency. And same thing for down. If you want to add shadow, this is... You should completely do the same things. So, uh, delete this, copy here. So, uh, make this zero, equal to zero, and here also equal to zero. Finished. So, now I guess everything will work with no problem. So, if this works, we will stop the stream and the game is completely will finish and also i will make this game can edit on roblox studio you can just download it for yourself so let's just see what happened Okay, we both here. So let's see what will happen. Okay, player one is a seeker. So let's run other. Okay, when I touch him, you see? Yeah, did you see like the user was there? But because we are two person, Game checks if there is new person, Seeker will find them, but if not, game will loop. So that's why we don't see them. So this player now is Seeker, so I can't move, I touch space. So we will check him. Like, when I touch him, it should go there. So let me go first person, look. Yes, it works, but it's really fast, so... I don't know... Let me try with three person but I don't know will my laptop can work for this but I will try my so let's say three person and try All right, guys, we are three person. Look at this. Oh, hello friend, welcome. Let me also answer you on chats.
All right, I guess three person will make my laptop crash. But yeah, I know like it works. So guys, uh, visit this link. Now I will put on description or chat and just simply edit in studio. Okay, you can just simply download it or if it's not if I had a problem so also go to my video description um, in description I put it all scripts to my uh, github account all right so also if you need anything please just send me any message on my roblox okay so I will try my best to answer you all right guys so thanks for joining my stream and uh, see you in next one